Hi, this is question number four from the AQA Core 2 January 2015 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I want you to try the question for yourself. So if you want to pause the video now and just try the question. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. For the next part of the video, I'm going to give you some hints as to how you can go about um, starting each part of this question. So we've got a curve that's defined for um, when x is greater than zero. Um, the gradient of the curve at the point x, y. So at a particular point x, y, the gradient is given by this function here. So we don't know the original um, equation of the curve, but we know that the gradient of it is given by this here. For part A, we want to find the second differential um, of the curve. So in order to do this, um, we know what dy by dx is, so we can just differentiate this um, to give us the second differential. In order to do this, you might want to write this as a power of x. Okay, for part b, um, the curve has a stationary point m um, whose y-coordinate is 5 over 2. We first of all need to find the x-coordinate of m. Well, because we know it's a stationary point, that means that the gradient at that particular point is going to be equal to zero. So we can work out the x-coordinate by setting this equal to zero. So we're looking for when, um, whoops, when dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, that's going to tell me um, the x-coordinate. Okay, for part two, it says use your answer in part A, so for this, and part B, I, this, to show that M is a maximum point. So we're looking for when the second differential is negative, and that will tell us that M is a maximum point. So we want, we want to show that our second derivative is less than zero or negative and if that is the case then that means that we have got a maximum point okay for part three it says find the equation of the curve now in order to do part three um, because we know what the gradient function is we can work out what y is by integrating this with respect to x. Okay, so we're going to integrate this with respect to x. Okay, once we do this, um, we're going to get a general solution for y. So that's going to be something that has got a plus c in it. And then we know the x coordinate and we know the y coordinate for our stationary point m so we should be able to work out what that missing value c is and then come up with the actual particular solution for the equation of the curve okay if you'd like to pause the video now and see if you can finish this question off Okay, well done if you managed to have a go. I'm now going to go through the full solution to this equation. Okay, so for part A, we want to find the second differential of this. So I'm going to start by rewriting this as 2x to the power of negative 2 take away x divided by 4. Okay, so my second differential um, I need to differentiate this, so let's so if I multiply by negative 2 and then take 1 away from the power, so that's going to be negative 4x to the negative 3 take away and that's a quarter x, so that's just going to be take away a quarter. Okay, so that's going to be my second differential. 
Part B says the curve has a stationary point M whose Y coordinate is five over two. We want to find the X coordinate of M. So we're setting um, this to be equal to zero. So I've got two over X squared take away X over four is equal to zero, which means I'll come over here. So we've got um, two over X squared is equal to x divided by 4 so that tells me that x cubed is going to be equal to 8 x squared times x and 4 times 2 um, so x is going to be equal to 2 okay so my x coordinate of m is going to be 2 Part two says, use the answers in part A and part B, part one, to show that M is a maximum point. So I'm going to substitute this two into this here. So so when X is two, this, uh, my second differential is going to be negative four over 8, so that's 2 cubed, take away a quarter, and negative 4 8 take away a quarter is going to be the same as negative 6 8, which is equal to negative 3 quarters. Okay, and since this is less than 0, um, is less than zero um, we have a maximum point okay so that's shown that m is a maximum point for part three it says find the equation of the um, curve so we said that we need to integrate this to work out what y is so we're integrating this with respect to x so um, We'll rewrite this as 2x to the power of negative 2 take away x over 4. So if I now integrate this, I've got um, y is equal to and add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so that's going to be negative 2 times x to the power of negative 1 take away and that's going to be x squared divided by 8 plus c okay um, now this is the general solution to this differential equation here what we want to do is we want to find the equation of the curve which is going to be a particular solution now the extra bit of information I know is that I know for this stationary point the y coordinate is 5 over 2 and the x coordinate is 2. So when x is equal to 2 we know that y is going to be equal to 5 over 2. So I can substitute this information into here to work out what c is. So 5 over 2 is going to be equal to negative 2 over x and x is 2 so negative 2 over 2 take away x squared over 8 so that's going to be 4 over 8 plus c so I'll come over here let's simplify this so I've got 5 over 2 is equal to a negative 1, negative a half, so negative 1 take away a half, plus c, and that's going to be um, add 1 and add a half to both sides, so c is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so that tells me that my um, solution here is going to be y is equal to negative 2x to the power of negative 1. I'll call that 2 over x. 
take away x squared over 8 plus 4. And that's going to be the equation of the curve. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.